He hurt me. Well, she hurt me. Okay, well, you guys, shut who cares? He can Retards. Steven can talk about the ways in which I hurt him also. Yeah, but he's not. You are. Yes, he well, is. Max is. Max. Yes, he Max is. Will, will only in reply to y'all. I think he called me a predator. Or someone else. Probably. I think that was actually Brianna Wu called me a sex right, criminal. <laughs> Um, are we live right now, by the way? We are, yes. I, I'm okay. live, yes. Yeah, so I just wanted to have a super quick uh, chat about it, and, uh, you know, frankly, give me something I could tweet out to, uh, frankly, address what Laugh said about me, which was a blatant lie, and uh, kind of frame it uh, in a wider context for everybody. Um, did you see, so, um, I guess I'll send this to you. Do you want to uh, take a second and tell everybody like uh, how we got here? How we got here in what sense? Um, what? So you you messaged me. You wanted to come on. Yeah. So yeah, the context to this. Hundred percent. So you had a uh, a chat with Lav the other day. Uh, Big Tech was involved. It obviously blew up. Everybody in Twitch poll is talking about it. Uh, I'm on vacation. I decided to spend uh, my very indulgent two-hour run uh, listening to this podcast uh, as I was uh, as I was running, and I was really I was shocked. I was not shocked actually, but uh, shocked and also not. Let me say that again. So I was not shocked at all to see Lav completely misconstruing uh, some comments that I had made about her. So I wanted to jump on stream today and basically be able to set that uh, straight with you. Well, so I did DM you. Uh, there was also a tweet that said mm -hmm. the same exact thing that I just sent you on Twitter DMs. But let me see. Um, yeah, I didn't know if you had seen that. Let's take a look at this. Oh, she has me blocked, so I can't see this, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Um, well, yeah. Can you, can you summarize it for me? Yeah, it, it literally, it's uh, somebody said, ma'am, you literally called Brianna Wu a man after posting her dead name <laughs> and what she looked like pre transition. Now you're walking back to try to suck up to Contra so she doesn't know that uh, you view her as nothing more than a man. Stick to your values, maybe just a thought. And uh, Lav said, Yeah, Brianna Wu accused me of being a sex criminal, LMFAO. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I would say Lav probably shouldn't get her uh, uh, information from GameCube. That's probably. <laughs> Not a very good, uh, very accurate source for things. But this is, in fact, the uh, the claim I wanted to talk about, that I accused her of being a sex criminal. So for I want to do two things with you here, uh, Tom. I want to address the claim itself, and I want to put it in a wider context here for your audience. Um, so it is a blatant lie that I said that Lav was a sex criminal. This is a lie. Lav is a liar. She is lying to you. I never said that. What I did do is I went on Chud's show and I talked about this wider project that Lav and Mr. Girl are a part of. And in my view, um, if you look back to, uh, do you remember the fappening when that happened, when Jennifer Lawrence and a whole bunch of celebrities had their um, nudes leaked on uh, by basically an iCloud hacking? Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah, I didn't know it was called the fappening, but I do remember that. <laughs> That's yeah. what Reddit called it. Um, okay. So, you know, Jennifer Lawrence very famously called that a sex crime. Um, and I agreed with that as a feminist at the time. Um, it seems to me, you know, it wasn't a rape or anything like that, but it was certainly a violation of her, you know, her her private life and her body and her sense of autonomy. Yeah, I was talking about this uh, project that Lav and Mr. Girls are a part of, right? Which, from my view, is going through Destiny's entire private sex life, putting it under investigation, and basically publishing it out to the world to see. And my very specific statement to Chud was, I think that if the fappening was a sex crime, I think that this is a much lower level sex crime, but I still think think it's a sex crime. Yeah, I don't think that you know, Mr. Girl and Lav are whistleblowers. I actually think they are massive abusers in this situation. So we can have a reasonable 
debate about is this a sex crime? Is this not a low level sex crime? But it's just a blatant lie that I said Lav was a sex criminal. And this is part of a pattern that I really urge your audience to think about with Lav because she will take something and she will twist it just enough to make herself like this wonderful person that's the victim of all these mean people out there and everyone else is just the aggressor and is completely irrational to her. It's this constant like twisting and manipulating reality that I think is it really goes beyond just being like a standard media spin. It, it really seems to be a core character defect in her personality. I mean, I'm sure you heard, I'm sure you must have felt this over your time interviewing her, right? Did you find yourself getting spun or confused about the facts? Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah. There, there's numerous points where she'll say, oh, of course, that's not my fault. Uh, or, or sorry, of course, that's not his fault. That's on me. But then literally ev the entire explanation afterwards still sounds like she's making it his fault. So, yeah. Right. But it's worse than that. Like, she's actually taking the things that happen, things that we have longs about. She's twisting them around and she's lying about it. Like, she is a serial liar. And what I find so dangerous about Lav is she is continually lying, like she's making fake uh, sexual abuse allegations up about uh, men. And, you know, for me, as someone who I think most people would call me a very fe uh, credible feminist figure, right? I care deeply about sexual assault. I care deeply about harassment online. And when you have someone like Lav, who is cynically making up these false allegations and crying and making herself a victim when people justifiably push back on that. You know, I called her the 9-11 of feminism for a reason. Um, I, I do think this is very serious business. Um, and I, 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 I take that very seriously. I actually feel an ethical responsibility to come on your show today and point out that she's lying to your audience. Um, you know, I'm on vacation. There's other stuff I would rather be doing. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it's really important that good people push back on what she's doing, which is fundamentally an exercise in dishonesty. So the initial claim that you made, you were saying on Chud's show, mm -hmm. you were comparing like leaking nudes to a sex crime. Yes. And then... I, I assume somewhere in there you started talking about leaking sexting, and that's how she connected the two? That's correct. Okay. And, and I did but... say, that I said this project of leaking someone's private sexual DMs, in my view, this is a low-level sex crime. It's not entertainment, and we shouldn't treat it like this. This is a violation of people. I think if you switch the genders here, if you had um, like a, a, man, a, a woman public figure mm -hmm. and a jilted former lover going through and releasing all of like a bunch of sex to embarrass them, I, I think most people would really consider that outrageous, right? Yeah. So I feel an ethical responsibility as a feminist to defend destiny in this situation, right? And destiny's had plenty of criticism for me, right? Um, but it, it's still like the most basic, like your morals don't count for anything if they only count when it applies to other people, right? You've got to hold yourself to those same standards. And I think when men are getting violated in the same way, I think that's when it's more important for feminists to come out and say, this is not appropriate. This is not entertainment. We do not stand by this. We do not endorse this. Nice. Um, so what I interviewed Destiny about this, one of the things that I asked him was because um, I, I said, I think I remember you saying that you were OK with people leaking your logs because you felt sure. like it was going to clear you. 
And he said, yeah. And I was like, so are you upset with Lav uh, leaking any of these things? So she's probably leaked DMs to a ton of people, which I think is kind of shitty. But no, if you want to share DMs for like investigatory purposes or whatever, that's fine. But my the two things that I only worry about is when other people's shit starts to get brought up, um, which is damaging their lives, or when people just leaking stuff just like make me look bad. Like, oh, like here's like a sexting conversation or here's like some shit just to like fuck with this guy. It's like, okay. But you were like, because, yeah, I remember you saying, like, yeah, if anybody has anything that they want to share with him, that like uh, DMs or whatever, like, go ahead and give it to him because I'm pretty sure it's going to show that I did nothing wrong. Sure. Right. Yeah. OK. So you were not upset with her for giving him DM? No, I kind of figured they would. OK. Um, That's his daughter. <laughs> they have no secrets. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I feel like. You know, after this conversation, I'll get a flood of like DGGers or even like even Mr. Girl fans being like, well, Destiny doesn't care. He said it's fine. Would that change anything for you? I think the principle of it uh, still stands. It's not a good uh, policy. I do have to say, and DGG can let me know if I'm misunderstanding this, but it, as I understand Destiny's recent comments, his position does seem to be. He feels that he has been harassed. Um, he does feel that this is inappropriate, and he feels that he is. Um, he feels that Lav is the victimizer in this case. Um, so maybe I'm misunderstanding that. I certainly can't watch all nine trillion hours of Destiny streams a day, uh, but that is my current understanding of the situation. Yeah, that's my understanding as well. Um, that is definitely. How he feels, I think that's how most people feel about it. Um, I mean, I mean, don't just speaking for us, just the two of us. I would be horrified if someone managed to, like, leak sexual things I had said to my husband, right, mm -hmm. for entertainment. That would feel like a huge violation. I, I imagine you would with any partner you would have. I mean, correct? Yeah, of course. So, do you right. think they're doing it for entertainment, and that it like the article, the report, it doesn't actually have the supposed goal that they claim it does? No, I think Mister Girl is doing this for revenge. I think Lav is doing it for revenge and a deeply unhealthy, un unhealthy psychological need to be the center of everything. Mm -hmm. um, but I think people are interpreting it as entertainment, and I I just don't think that's a I, I don't think it's appropriate, right? It, it's a violation and um, it, it's just not ethical. So do you think if somebody says that, so it does sound like you're saying she committed a low level sex crime. So when you say she's kind well, of I like Mr. Girl, who did oh. Mr. Girl, isn't he the one that published this or am I yes. misunderstanding that? Okay, yeah. okay, cool. Okay, so, so Mr. Girl committed a low level sex crime. And so you're Correct. saying she's kind of twisting what you said to correct. say that they are a sick, that she is like also a sex criminal because That's so I guess she, she feels she, like she gave him the DM. So maybe she, she thinks she deliberately misconstrued her. what I said, which was a thoughtful, serious point about like airing out sexual details of people's life for entertainment and humiliating people online and thinking about this in terms of a, a very widespread event and asking ourselves if we are participating in a sex crime by treating this as entertainment. That is a thoughtful, nuanced position, mm -hmm. and she misconstrued it deliberately to your audience to make it sound like I made some crazy claim that she is a sex criminal. I did not do that. It is a lie, and this is a pattern of Lav's fundamental dishonesty as a person. Okay. Yeah, if Mr. Girl said that you called him a sex criminal, would you feel like that was also a misconstruing, yeah. or do you feel like there's like more nuance to it in general? I think there's a. I think my words speak for themselves, and people can make their own assessment of that. Shun streams out there. It's a long conversation. Okay. Yeah, I think I saw yeah. some of it. Um, yeah. I don't remember that specific part, but yeah, I remember watching it. So I want to return to. Um, I, I want to move on to another topic here, mm -hmm. and this is some serious shit. Um, the class I took most seriously in college was communication law, okay. which was how to not get yourself sued if you were in the public eye. It um, explained things like how defamation works, how libel works. And I feel very strong that Lav, with her current propensity to just 
make up blatant lies about public figures like Hassan and to misconstrue things like she did with me. I feel very strongly that LAV is on a collision course with our country's uh, laws against defamation, slander, and libel. I think that she has this mistaken impression that because she is a attractive young woman, that she is not going to face consequences from this stuff. And my message to her is, look, your fiance is the CMO, I believe, at Ridge Wallet. You have a lot of money. It would be in many people's interest to go after you legally. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but I do know enough about defamation to know there are multiple cases that people could bring against you for your public statements. So my strongest possible advice for lab is to grow the fuck up understand that you are living in a real world with real legal and monetary consequences for the things you say online and for your own bank account my strongest suggestion is for you to hold yourself to a much higher standard of accuracy and judgment in your public comments are you aware that Destiny tweeted out recently that, or he implied that he was possibly going to sue her for defamation? I saw that. Um, I obviously did not look into that. Uh, I think it's his business, uh, mm -hmm. what he does. But I think that Lav is, I think that she is facing that threat on multiple vectors. And um, honestly, I think if someone sued her, I think it would be uh, probably a positive step for the Twitch Paul uh, community. It, it, she did respond and said, bring it on. So yeah, that was, well, uh, that's because she's a fucking moron. <laughs> that, I, don't, I think I'd be terrified if Destiny said he was going to sue me. I think I would be scared. You know, here's the thing Lav needs to understand. The people she's going after, like including me, I could fucking sue the shit out of Lav, right? Like I've definitely got enough money to go hire a lawyer. Right. Um, it, it's it, it's just it's so foolish for her to think this is a game. It's not high school. You're a public figure. You're attached to someone that has a significant amount of money. There's every incentive to go after you here. Um, you know, she's really got to wake up here. It, it's I think she just doesn't think any of this is real. So just before anybody else takes off with this, are you saying that you could possibly sue her in the future or is this meant to be taken as a threat of any kind? I'm not intending. You can sue anyone for anything in this mm -hmm. country at any time. What I'm saying is she's messing with people that have the resources to make it very expensive for her to even to litigate it, even if she were in the right, which I don't think she is. I don't have any intention of suing her currently. I've got other things to do. And then, you know, this stuff like lav is the thing that people are writing stories about me about right it just doesn't help any current mission that i'm part of but if she keeps pushing it like fuck around and find out lav mm. um it, it, it's she really needs to wake up okay um that's all the questions i have was there anything <laughs> else that's all I wanted to say. I'm really, you know, I want to ask you this. Like, for you, what ethical considerations do you have for inviting someone like that on your stream? I mean, are you under the impression she's a serial liar? Because I am. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, these are conversations that me and my audience have had over and over. So right. with the Mr. Girl article, I felt like it was actually an interesting proposition for like yeah. ethics between streamers. Sure. Um, talking to Destiny. That, that rose to the level of public. Yeah. yeah. There was it, public interest in covering that. That's yes. fair. And so talking to Destiny about it, like he seemed like he was cool with me talking to these people, talking to him about it, asking him questions. I talked to Mr. Girl, asked him questions. Um, I So, so far I've interviewed all three of them and kind of allowed them to give their stories, their perspectives of things. 
all of sure. their arguments are out there. All of them have, you know, their their version on record now on my channel. So anybody can just go to one place and see the entire thing. Um, but yeah, as far as my channel goes, every and I even had to like stop her. I, if you watched it, I had to stop her like once or twice and be like, hold on. I do not agree with you. I'm not right. on your side here. Right. This right. is very, I am not, the, I totally disagree with you and Max. I, I am on Destiny's side on this stuff. So don't, uh, don't misconstrue my position here. So yeah, I've I've had to try to make that clear a couple of times. Yeah, I, I think that's fair, and I don't know. It's something I've thought about a lot. Is you know, Lav is you know, Mister Girl is very clearly the Skeletor of Twitch Paul, and Lav is the evil Lynn. <laughs> you know, like she's just she's got the final boss villain like. She just did. She's a fantastic villain for this community, and people watch reality shows for villains. Um, mm -hmm. So I understand that, but at the same time, it's like I've I've only been in this space for a short amount of time. It's remarkably psychologically unhealthy, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I just I think at some point there's the ethical conversation doesn't need to be like about destiny's sex life it's is it good to air these lies out for entertainments and clicks right mm. i i don't think it is in my view so my position on this and i i because i i yeah i feel like this is on me for how i go about this he his life is a a reality tv show when he talks about these things he talks about them publicly when he argues about them he argues about them publicly if he wants to talk to them he's going to talk to them publicly any conversation he has with them behind the scenes he brings it out publicly they bring it out all publicly and so now it is there for public consumption it is there it's here it's already yeah. public and so i'm uh like i'm going to do it as ethically as i possibly can while making sure that everybody understands the truth but also like it is yeah i, I enjoy the the I, this sounds super corny i enjoy the philosophical questions within all of it i enjoy drama yeah. because i enjoy the ethics and in getting into like who did what and what could have done been uh what could have been done better and you know where mistakes were made and how they could have fixed it and like all of these things those are definitely the interesting parts for me i i think that's fair i i do have to say I, I cannot claim to be like an expert on Destiny or DGG, but from what I've seen, he seems to exercise a high degree of judgment about his sex life and 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 doesn't seem to like mention specific people, right? Mm. Like there there does seem to be a bit of discretion about that. From my point of view, um I find all the public speculation about his marriage. <laughs> to be deeply uncomfortable and deeply inappropriate. It's like, you know, I come from the tech industry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting six poly people. <laughs> and there's really no big, you don't have to care this much about it. It, it seems very strange to me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, if even with Destiny stuff public and the way that he talks about it, if he reached out to me at any point was like, hey, I, I, I don't want you talking about this. Or if he right. said it publicly, like, hey, I'd like people to just let this die off, leave it alone. Uh, yeah, I would be happy to do that. I have no issue with that whatsoever. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, she's um, she needs professional help. <laughs> she needs a lot of help, in my view. Well, um, I'm sure she's going to ask so i'll go ahead and ask you if she wanted to have a conversation with you would you be open to it i think i would have to decline that at this okay. point um she's a liar and um frankly i don't want my I, I don't want my reputation which i've worked very hard for uh to be associated with the pathological liar so i'm gonna have to decline that so thank understandable you. um okay yeah Anything? At some point, I would love to come on and uh, uh, have a different conversation about something that's not loud. I think that would sure. be absolutely delightful. <laughs> Um, I mean, I did reach out to you. I do still want to interview you. For and the I missed it. I, so. I'm sorry. I get 9 million DMs a day. So Yeah, no, it's perfectly you. fine. Yeah, no, you did respond like we're, we, I guess we were 
talking about when we're going to do it. This is like a long-term documentary process. We've been doing it for over a year now, or I guess almost two years at this point. So it is, uh, there's no huge hurry on it, but yeah, we would, uh, we would definitely like to talk to you about that specific oh, section. I would love to say it. I, I, I can't, you know, um, I've said this before. I'm not a long-term destiny fan. Um, I had a running injury and, uh, I was stuck on the couch for two weeks and, just mainlined a ton of YouTube and uh, I have been, I'm a huge Sam Cedar fan. I support his show financially and uh, I saw his debate with uh, uh, Destiny. And the thing about Destiny is he hijacks your algorithm. You watch one Destiny video, that's all your YouTube is going to be. Uh, yes. And you just go down this whole rabbit hole. So um, yeah, it's a, it's been quite a, a, a lesson for the last few months. Yeah, that's how I got stuck in it as well as he had the debate with him and Hassan versus Sargon and Nick Fuentes. And I was just looking up Sargon mm -hmm. debates one day and caught that and just, yeah, I ended up watching a ton of Destiny debates for years afterwards. There's so many. Yeah. But well, yeah. there it is. Uh, count me in for participating on that. Thank you for yeah. having me on today to refute a bald-faced lie about me and uh, wish you luck. Awesome. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Get back to vacationing. Talk soon. Later. It's very, very clear to me that Lav is the abuser here. I think Lav very clearly fails that that bar. There's been a real trend. I know your chat doesn't like it when I mention Gamergate, but it's very pertinent oh. here. I think there's a real danger. certainly would feel horrible if someone uh, released something like that out to the public. She seems to, there's no part of her brain that seems to go, this is wrong, this is inappropriate, this is Sorry. a violation of boundaries. I was laughing because she said that his chat gets mad when she mentions Gamergate. That's freaking hilarious. Too. And it's very offensive to me that she is calling herself the victim of harassment when she's out there committing what I consider to be a low-level sex crime. Okay. Do you think there's ever circumstances where it is acceptable to share private sex mm -hmm. logs? What would they sure. be? I think if a reputable journalist were looking into some... Okay, so she said what she would consider to be a low-level sex crime and she was talking about that. Yeah, that's why I asked when when she said, well, I was talking about um, Mr. Girl. She said, I, um, she said, I was talking about Mr. Girl when I said the sex crime thing, or it would be a low level sex crime, but it sounds like she's talking about love. Um, <clears throat> so then when I asked her, I said, are you saying that so are you saying that, like, if Max asked if he was a sex criminal, would you say yes? And she said, I would have that conversation with Max. So I, I don't... I don't know. It sounds like... I, I feel like it sounds like if you say somebody commits a sex crime it sounds like you're calling them a sex criminal but i'm not sure what i don't know why she was differentiating it because she she was saying that she was thinking of the the jennifer lauren stuff and the people leaking that crap but yeah that that's why what she was comparing it to and that there's a lot of nuance and all of the nuances, but is a lesser sex crime. But I think if you feel that Jennifer Lawrence was violated, I don't see how logically you can't also feel that the destiny has been violated here. I certainly would feel horrible if someone uh, released something like that out to the public. She seems to, there's no part of her brain that seems to go, this is wrong, this is inappropriate, this is a violation of boundaries. And it's very offensive to me that she is calling herself the victim of harassment when she's out there committing what I consider to be a low level sex crime. Yeah, it seems pretty straightforward. Okay.
I'm sorry, guys. I enjoy the drama. I love it. It is, it is my passion. It is my, it is my, what do you call it? Spirit animal? I don't know. I gotta get through this freaking video and go to sleep, okay? My, my head, <laughs> my head is gonna explode at this point. <laughs>